Holly friends and welcome back to the channel. I am Dory and I am here to share with you my 1962 Mattel Talking Bozo doll. I um I loved Bozo. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Bozo Circus, but Bozo Circus was a children's program that used to come on WGN here in Chicago, that was our station, WGN, every single morning, we would probably watch Bozo, Bozo Circus before we would head out to school. Sometimes they would show him at lunchtime if, you know, you were lucky enough to come back home and have lunch at home. And WGN hosted so many shows um, that were like kind of spinoffs or friends of Bozo Circus, like Ray Rayner, Garfield Goose. Cuddly Dudley, if you remember those. And the reason why I wanted to save Bozo for today is because usually um, Bozo Circus is played simultaneous with the Thanksgiving Day Parade. They will show Bozo sometimes on Christmas, Christmas morning as well because Bozo had some great cartoons and a couple of them you might know if you're a Gen Xer like me, which would be um, Hard Rock Coco and Joe. That's a great little Christmas tune. Little Susie Snowflake. Oh my goodness sakes. I mean, those are Christmas childhood memories for me like you wouldn't believe. But normally Bozo, um, now that I'm an adult, comes on every Thanksgiving day. So uh, Bozo is a great one to catch. You know, David Arquette, the actor, loved Bozo so much. It had been news to me that they had actually grown up here in um, Chicago, spent some time here. So he was a beloved, um, you know, character and friend to him. And so he bought the rights to the Bozo Circus um, as an adult. And he's doing some fun things with Bozo now. And so I just, I'm, I'm happy about that. But anyway, back to... This guy here, he is a 1962, he still has his little tag here, 1962 Mattel Talking Doll. This is part of my Mattel Talking Doll uh, collection that I have, and um, he's in pretty good shape. I remember my cousin had one, and I still feel so guilty to this day because He's one of the only dolls that I can really recall like really being bad to and scribbling on it because nothing felt better than a ballpoint pen on this vinyl for some reason. And oh my gosh, I live to regret that because this guy is just such a cutie. As a kid, I did get to go to Bozo Circus. My brothers got to go to Bozo Circus and you could do all kinds of things, win prizes, meet Bozo, Cookie uh, and Wizzo and... Ned the Ringmaster, and it's just, it was a lot. So if you don't know about Bozo, you might want to check into um, that program, which is really fun. And um, I had a lot of Bozo paraphernalia growing up. I remember when I went to the Bozo Circus show, I did get some goodies from there as well, which kind of cemented my love of Bozo. I'm going to very carefully, very carefully pull his string. Let's hope that... Uh, Doing. Now, if you're, uh, uh, you know, afraid of clowns, I should have had a disclaimer in there. I should have had a warning, but uh, Bozo, oh, no he says all of a lot of his fr famous phrases, and he's just a beautiful condition Bozo. I mean, I, I love him. Love, love, love him. I might scare you a little bit further, so I, I'm going to put a little... Disclaimer, if you are afraid of dummies or, or clowns, this guy might really uh, scare you. He might be giving you poltergeist vibes. I don't know, but this is a larger Bose here. And this Bose is a, let me try to get him in frame here. He is a talking ventriloquist dummy. And his mouth moves. And this is the older version. I did once upon a time have the 1973 version but this is a, a remake. I think he came out in 2017. He's got his little bozo cowboy boots there that I think um, they also use for the Howdy Doody 
dummy, but yeah, he's in great shape. He's 30 inches long. He's pretty cool. And, you know, this is just, again, part of my love of Bozo, Bozo Circus, everything Bozo. And like I said, he's just holidays and memories for me as a child. The Mattel 1962 version. And this is the Goldberger um, celebrity ventriloquist dummy that came out in 2017. He was repeated 2017. And this is uh, about the Bozo show that was a 1960s kids show that you could watch. And I hope that you can see Bozo on your affiliated channels. And we want to wish you a happy weekend. We hope you had a blessed holiday. And go check out some Bose kids and have fun. And we look forward to seeing you real soon. If you remember Bozo, or if you're putting up a Flashback Friday video, please leave that in the comment box so we can go check you out. Check out your Flashback Friday vintage toys. And um, maybe hear some stories about Bozo or if you recall Bozo, if you were afraid of Bozo, or you just have any memories. Maybe you were on the Bozo show too. I don't know. But anyway, wishing you guys a blessed and happy weekend. And we'll be seeing you real soon. Bye.